Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. Today I have the Anchor Solix C1000 Powerhouse 1056. This is a power station with a lithium iron phosphate battery, a pure sine wave inverter capable of putting out 1800 watts with a surge of 2400 watts, and it has a battery capacity of 1056 watt hours. Now, I have been using this now for about three or four days, and I don't want to just give you a general overview and be done with the review. I want to actually put this to work here in my 20 by 30 off-grid studio that I'm building. So let's do a real quick overview, and then we will get to work using this power station out here off-grid. Out of the box, you get the C1000 or Powerhouse 1056. It has a few cables here. This is the AC charging cable. It's got the carport input so you can charge through your car. And it also has a solar panel which can do two panels down into one. This company did not send the solar panel so I can't test it out with that. Um, but I have been using the AC charging and it has been able to charge this from zero to 100% in one and a half hours. You can use the mobile app to turn on ultra fast charging mode and that will charge right at 58 minutes instead of an hour and a half. So saves you 30 minutes of charge time. It has the AC to DC adapter already into the box. You don't have to carry one of those big bricks around. All you've got to have is this small cable here. Now I've also done a discharge test and found that the C1000 ran at 87%, which was pretty fantastic, honestly. And so uh, I just used a heater and a kilowatt meter and found that the time was spot on and uh, the uh, system used 87%. So oftentimes you find these to run at uh, between 80 and 85. So very good, glad to see that. You can buy the Anchor C1000 on pre-sale and save 25%. As far as a walkthrough real quick, we have a nice display here on the front with USB type C down here, a 100 watt and a 30 watt. It has two USB type A right below the screen. This is how you turn the unit on over here. As you can see, 100% there on the display. Over here, you do have a 12 volt, 10 amp car socket. And to turn that on, it's got a button right next to it. There are six AC outlets down here and those can do uh, 1,800 watts with a surge of 2,400, which is impressive. To turn those on, you push right here, and there is a connect to Bluetooth right there if you need to push that. There is a light bar up here, which has multiple settings, and then goes back to off. Has some nice strong plastic handles up top. If you turn to the side, it has the option to expand out to another battery. I don't have one of those, so we won't be using that. Cooling slits here. Move over to this side. This is where you'll be charging. Has your typical AC input, has a, a breaker there. And also here's where your solar goes in, which is 11 to 32 volts at 10 amps or 32 volts to 60 volts. And that's 12.5 amps for a total of 600 watt solar input max. All right, and of course there is a sticker on the bottom to give you some more information with some rubber feet. Okay, like I said, I want to use this power station here in my shop and show you a practical use for having a power station like this. For a practical use of the C1000, I need to install a wall panel over here. I am using this plywood. I need to cut out for this double gang outlet right here, which means I need to use some power. So let's head over here to the power station. And first thing I wanna do is plug up a work light so we can see what's going on over here. So turn this unit on. I can hold down the power button till the light comes on. Very good. Press the AC on. And then when I plug this up, we should get some light over here. Now I've already got the square that I need to cut out for that outlet box. Let's use a combination of these two tools here. First, I'm going to punch a hole in two corners with this router. So here and up here. And then I can use this jigsaw here to cut out in both directions. Now obviously using a drill would be just as effective, but I just wanna show you that this power station can use these tools. All right, so that light is using 28 watts and that'll run that for 19 hours, which is quite impressive. Let's plug this tool up and then also plug this one up here. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to put a hole in two corners to let that uh, jigsaw get in here. So. Let's do this real quick. All 
All right, now that I've done that, I can use this other tool to then cut this piece out. A very practical use of a power station like this out here in the studio space. Now something else that you can use a power station for is to test your electrical circuits before hooking up the main or grid power. So for instance, I have this extension cord right here plugged up into this sub panel and that will allow me to run some of my circuits here based on the power station's uh, output here. So let's plug that up. And now I can move over here to one of the receptacles and plug up my power tool. And I should be able to operate this from an off-grid situation here. Let's see if it's gonna work. There you go. So that right there is running off of the power station, which is hooked up to that panel. I have a transfer switch here in my shop, which allows me to go from grid power to off-grid by using a 120 plug like this one right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and plug up this power cable into the power station and then swap over from grid power to off grid. I'm gonna hold the power button down until the unit turns on. 95% here. I go ahead and turn the AC inverter on and plug this up. And now if I take this middle one right here, the lights are gonna go off. And now I can flip it up and it will start using the power station for powering the lights. Let's see how much wattage this consumes. All right, so my lights are using 132 watts here, and this power station at 95% will run that at 6.1 hours. Now we've seen some very practical ways to use the AC side of this power station, but what about the DC side? So I've got a little air compressor here. I'm going to open up the car socket, which is 12 volt and 10 amp. Plug that up and push the on button. The fan here kicks on immediately. And now I can press the power button. There we go. You can see that works just fine. Now this power station also has USB ports. So let me try one of those out. Plug up this flashlight. I doubt you can see that light on there, but the power station is consuming four watts to charge this flashlight. Let's do a brightness test on the light panel real quick. There's the lowest setting, medium and high. Now you can see it is a yellow colored light. I kind of prefer to have the white light, but that is gonna be sufficient to do any kind of reading by. And if we look at the power consumption down here, it's using three watts to keep this light going. And there we have it, a few practical uses of the Anchor Solix C1000 power station. I was able to test out some circuits using my main breaker panel over here. I was able to use a transfer switch to operate lights in my top shop. I was also able to use power tools, run shop lights. I was able to use an air compressor, charge a flashlight. You could run a fan, you could charge your drill batteries, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, practical uses here in an off-grid studio but also remember, if you have a power outage, you can run a refrigerator and that kind of thing. Be sure to check out the link in the description down below so you can learn more information about this power station. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.